Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video regarding my outlook for the last week of July and the month of August and how I feel about the markets moving forward for the next month or so. So basically my outlook for the next 30 odd days. Before I begin, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. So kindly read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. Okay guys, so without going into too much details, uh, from what I have gone through, the results of Reliance, HDFC, Kotak, and who else? There was one more, I'm not able to remember. But I'll give you my take, my own personal take on the whole thing. So my own personal take on the whole thing is, uh, the Reliance results are not that great. HDFC results are not that great. Kotak results are okay. Uh, if I have to give marks out of five, I would give probably one, one and a half marks to Reliance, one, one and a half marks to HDFC, and probably two, two and a half marks to Kotak. Uh, there was one more result that I analyzed, I can't remember right now. But bottom line is that the quarterly results so far have not been very good so i'm talking on a general perspective there can be some companies which are doing good i did not analyze the results of infosys but i gathered that uh, the the commentary for the future was good by the company so on and so forth tcs results also i did not check uh but i think from what i gathered after uh going through the tcs results a bit there was there was a marginal two percent growth or something i did not go into the micro details of the specifics of the results so in my view quarterly results so far whatever has come out as so so uh now everything depends on the budget my own take is even if the budget is good, the euphoria may last to two, three days or maximum one week. Post that, we are going to witness a correction. How much will we correct is the question. I think there are two parts to it. The first level of correction can come till year. First of all, we can go up to 25,000. That can happen during the budget itself or after the budget, if the budget is very good. The first thing is we can go to 25,000 because 25,000 is not too far away from here. It will just take us how many points. It's just about. Hold on. Why is my ruler not working? Yep. So 25,000 is. Just about 480 points away of say 490 points away you can round it off saying 500 points away so that is not a big deal if the budget is very good if there is a consensus euphoria in you know after the budget it can go up by 500 points no big deal but post that i think a correction would come and the correction has got two places to halt the first is from here from wherever it is the first halt can come over here which is about 1150 points lower to 23,300 or 400 levels. If that cracks, then the fall can go all the way to this low of June 3rd or June 4th, I think it was. Yeah, June 4th, which is about 3,200 points lower from the current level. And that level is about 21,300. So the market can go all the way to 21,300 levels from its current level and have that 3,000 3, point dip. In my view, that's a possibility for the next 30 days. All right. So in my view, the possibility of the market going up to 25,000 is definitely there. It can do that. But will the markets rally 3,000 points up? I don't see that happening in the next 30 days, but can the markets go 3000 points down in the next 30 days? 
that's a possibility thousand to fifteen hundred points correction the nft will be no big deal it can come very swiftly and can happen in in a span of three or four days now whether it can go all the way three thousand points or three thousand two hundred points lower and all the way come down to twenty one three hundred that's a different question it may take 10 15 20 days of drop for something like that to happen but is it a possibility yes it's a possibility it's definitely a possibility over the next 30 days or till the end of august all right so i just wanted to lay this out because i can i am seeing a lot of videos coming up like you know budget day strategy this strategy in fact if you ask me this the best strategy is to have no strategy go off don't do anything on that day there'll be high level of volatility you'll just burn your finger e either you sit and watch the drama what's happening because the real drama will start one or two days after the budget all right after that the market will take direction which way it wants to go during the budget and in that whole fiasco the market will be very volatile there'll be up moves down moves it'll be very dangerous to trade or at least i feel so i feel whenever there's a big event just stay out that's the best thing to do i had mentioned this during the elections also that no strategy is the best strategy and that exactly was the right thing to do third and fourth people who would have participated a lot of people would have lost a lot of money in that drop that happened on the 4th of june i think so similarly i think during budget also sit and watch your tv go through the budget peacefully don't you don't don't take action for the sake of taking action filter in all the news let the people who want to react first react and see how things go from there i really don't think that you know 30 percent taxes on fno and all of that news and mumbo jumbo can come into effect in my view they will not happen uh regarding government uh trying to cap fno again that's a question mark they can do something about it but will they do i'm of the opinion probably they will not do uh so these are these are my thoughts currently uh on the whole market scenario i think by the time we reach next weekend we'll have a clear-cut view in our heads of which way the markets are going and we can plan accordingly i would not short it and uh, for, uh, it and fmcg at this point of time in fact i would not short anything over the next two or three days till the, till there's clarity post budget and even post that when the market is dropping the sectors to avoid shorting would be in my view it and fmcg should not be shorted other other sectors may fall i can i think cements can fall i think pharma can also fall uh what else can fall i pretty much can see a fall in all of the sectors apart from it and fmcg so that is the uh, perspective that i am holding i'm not actioning that perspective neither am i advising anybody to action that perspective my my theory right now is wait and watch let the dust settle down let the budget come and go wait for a day or two post budget let the market take a clear-cut direction after that we we'll act and see how things go that will be my view on the whole thing or my take on the whole thing i'm in no hurry to uh, act on the budget day i'm in no hurry to act one or two days post the budget day also i may do a little bit of one lot two lot trading here and there just to keep myself busy but it's not a very good time to take good positions because there will be good amount of volatility in the next two or three days or at least i think that will happen all right post that the dust will settle down and then we can see what which way the market will go all right uh, so i'll end this video over here guys i just wanted to share my views uh with the people who follow my channel i'm not trying to be negative over here in fact i think the bull run in the market in the indian market is it's at its very early stage if your outlook is 10 15 years from now then we are at the start of a great bull run however a correction at times is very healthy for the markets and this is at a point of time i think we need a correction so that the next spurt of growth that happens is a healthy growth that is the only reason i am a little bit uh looking forward to a correction happening over the next 30 days otherwise my outlook on india is positive i think if your outlook is 10 15 years from now we are going to see newer highs this market is going to go ballistic the future is bright all right 
However, the very near term view, one month view, I'm a little uh, on the, sh I've got a shortest view for the next one month. And I think a correction at this stage would be healthy. So I'll end this video on that note. Thank you very much for watching. If this video was helpful to you in any way or form, can you like and subscribe to the channel and share the video with your family and friends. I'm releasing this video quite late because I was hesitant uh, to, to, to share my mind with all of you. But then I thought, what the hell? I mean, I'm just sharing my mind. I'm not giving anybody my piece of advice. I'm not advising anybody on individual stocks. So I, it's, it's okay for me to share my view. All right. So subscribe to our free Telegram channel if you can. Uh, the link is given in the description in all our videos. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.